Hi, welcome to another RHC series video. Uh, in this one, we will look at NTP. Okay, let's have a look at the objectives first. So under NTP, um, you are required to synchronize time using other NTP peers. All the usual around um, network services, such as installing the correct packages, configuring the package for basic operation, uh, making sure the system, uh, the pack, uh, the service starts automatically during boot time, and configuring any SE Linux uh, requirements. Uh, so we'll do the following. Um, on server one, we'll install the crony package, and we'll configure it uh, to synchronize time um, from NTP servers. And on server two, we will configure, we'll also install crony, but we'll configure it to use uh, server one as an NTP peer. And we can also look at uh, some of the um, NTP tools such as um, NTP uh, CTL, um, crony C, etc. Okay, so let's get started. This is uh, server1.example.com. So first thing we want to do is install the package. So that's yum install dash y crony. Okay. Uh, the crony um, configuration file is in etc crony.com. So let's Let's open that file up. Okay, here it is. So uh, right at the top, uh, this is where the servers are listed that is configuring, uh, is uh, synchronizing against. So all the CentOS servers. Um, now we want to allow other servers, so namely server two, um, to access this one. So you put in the allow directive, and then you can specify either a subnet or an individual. So we're going to put our whole subnet in. So that's 10, 10, 10, 0, slash 24. And that's about it, really. Save the file. And uh, let's enable the service. Hmm. It's not coming up. That either means it's already enabled, not installed, or something else let's uh, see if it's running already a system CTO is active so it's not active I know it's there so it must already be enabled so that system CTO is enabled it is enabled it's strange I never enabled it but it was already enabled us okay now let's just restart the service then The system CTO restart crony D. Okay, so the first tool we will look at is time date CTO, and with this one by itself, it will show you um, the current settings, so such as is it being synchronized with NTP. It's already enabled for NTP, as it says so there, but if it wasn't and you wanted to set it, that's time date CTO. Uh, set NTP and then you uh, say true, but in our case it's already it's already enabled, so we don't need to. The other one is Crony C, and there's various things you can do with that one. The first one we want to look at sources. So this tells you all the servers that is synchronizing with. The other one, if you just do state, it's not status. Um, not this tracking and that shows you uh, the current status of the um, NTP time. Um, man crony C will show you uh, the health file. You might want to have a look at this before the exam, but it's not too much there to be honest. Um, sources and tracking are the only things, nothing you need to use, and if you wanted to enable. Enable NTP time, just use time date CTL. Okay, so the server one is done, so let's go head over to server two. And again, we will install the package. Okay. 
So we haven't added the uh, firewall rule in, so let's do that quickly. So that's firewall cmd dash dash permanent add service ntp and then just reload firewall dash cmd dash dash reload. Okay, so, so let's go back to server 2. So if we look at the config file. Okay, so we this is synchronizing to server, so we want to comment this out and we want to use the peer directive. Okay, so let's comment these out. So peer server wonder example dot com. Let's just save the file and uh, start restart the enable and restart the service. Okay, so it looks like it's already enabled. So let's make sure. Yes, it is already enabled. So let's just uh, restart it. Okay. Now if we check the uh, status. So NTP is already enabled. And then if we check sources, there you go, it's uh, going to server one. Let's have a look at uh, tracking as well. Uh, not much there. Just check date on both are the same. Yeah, this appears to be. Um, that's about it, really. Uh, not much to configure with NTP. And that concludes the uh, video for NTP. I uh, hope you found it useful and thank you for watching. Um, if you have any questions or suggestions, the contact details are on the screen.